This is our prac method that you'll be using. You'll be collecting two petri dishes. When they're empty, they look like this. It's just a lid and a bottom to it. And then the lab techs have actually added a special gelatin sugar solution to it uh, with a bit of colour in it. So they'll, you'll get two of them and they'll look like this. They'll have a bit of condensation on the inside of the lid. So what, one of the first things you'll have to do is to wipe the condensation out very carefully, not to damage the actual gelatin itself. And that'll allow you to be able to observe your uh, chemical reaction as it happens. Once that's done, you'll have two petri dishes as I said. The next step that you need to do is to use your black marker pen to very carefully on the underside of your petri dish to divide it up into fours and then label each of the laundry mm -hmm. detergents that you'll be using in each of the squares. Earth, Duo, Fab. Once you have labelled the underside of your petri dish, you'll have to use the hole borer to um, bore out the holes for each of your samples. You place it in the middle of your triangle and gently rotate it around carefully to ensure that you have a sealed um, hole, a very clear hole, and use the skewers to lift out the middle part. This is a little bit fiddly and you have to be careful. Try to be careful but you can't take too long or it starts to get a bit messy. If you need to go back in and just make sure they're clean. It's very important not to damage the sides because that's what the enzyme is designed to do is to actually damage if you like or break down the gelatin. So you don't want to damage it, do the damage with the skewers. And then one down the middle where the two lines dissect and you can discuss why we would be doing that. This one needed a little bit extra cleaning around. Once the holes have been drilled, the wells have been created and before you put your laundry detergent in, it's really important to remember to measure each of the wells using a ruler. How you do it, as long as you make it consistent, I'll use my ruler here and I'm just looking straight down and I've got the end line, end line here, the zero, lined up on the side, looking directly down and I can see that it is approximately eight and a half or nine millimeters, eight and a half I'd say. However you measure it, whether you position the line, as long as you keep it consistent from one well to the next and then before and after your experiment. The reason you, you'll be measuring it now before you add the laundry detergent, but you'll also measure it at the end and that's one way to help you get an indication of how much damage has actually occurred with the laundry detergent and whether it's got enzyme activity or not. Now that our wells have been created, we're now going to place each of our uh, laundry detergent samples, one into each. It's really important to make sure that the name on the laundry detergent actually matches where you've labelled the hole. So I know that this one is earth, and I know that this corner down here is the one that's labelled earth. But ensuring that the lid is on fairly tight, and I'm just going to very gently tip it up and down to ensure that that it hasn't settled and that we, it's mixing it up. Get your pipette. 
now I've dragged across the top so I don't have any dribbles. It's very important not to splash or dribble the laundry detergent around the petri dish. You only want to have approximately four or five drops. One, two, three, four, five into the well. It hasn't leaked, it hasn't bleached out anywhere. Any spare goes straight back in and placed directly in front of the bottle. The lid's gone back on for the next person. Going on to the next one, label has to match. I need to know exactly where I'm going before I start. Pick up the bottle, check the lid, the lid is correct, it's on. Tip top side down to mix it. And then one, two, three, four, five. do is just break that bubble. Lid has gone back. Fab is up in this top corner here. Check the lid. Tipping it upside down. You can see how the condom how the the um, precipitate had settled. It's important to ensure that we get some of that. Counting. One, two, three, four, five. Lid's gone back on. Just repeating the process I've also again. I've got distilled water. And you can have a think about why I'm adding distilled water into that middle hole. gone back on. Now I'm going to place the petri dish lid back on the top. I'm going to label it. Normally when you're doing lab work it's a good idea to date it and since I prepared one earlier this is my second. You'll do two and we'll place them somewhere cool. And that's the procedure that you'll be following.